Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about basic obedience training. If you've recently welcomed a new puppy into your home, it's important to start training them right away to establish good habits and prevent future behavior issues. In this video, we'll cover the five basic essential commands every puppy should learn and how to train them effectively. We've covered some of these commands in detail in some of our other videos, so if you want an in-depth breakdown of how to train those commands, I will have the links in the description below. This video is really a high-level overview of basic commands, and we'll also teach you a few concepts that really allow you to teach your dog any trick. The sit command. Let's start with the most basic command, sit. This command is an essential building block for other commands and behaviors you'll teach your puppy. To train your puppy to sit, we're gonna first introduce luring. Start by holding a treat close to their nose and slowly move it upwards. As their head follows the treat, their butt will naturally lower to the ground. As soon as their butt touches the ground, mark and give them the treat. Do this for several rounds before adding a verbal cue. Once your dog understands the behavior, you can add the word sit. Practice this command several times a day until they start to associate the word sit with the behavior. Raise the criteria by removing the lure and marking and treating after sitting. Continue to raise the criteria by taking a step back and adding distance. The down command. The down command is also important for puppy obedience. It's a submissive behavior that can help calm your puppy down in stressful situations. To train your puppy to lay down, start with them in a sitting position. Hold a treat in your hand and slowly lower your hand to the ground in front of them. As they follow the treat, their body should lower to the ground. Just like the sit command, we're gonna first lure them to get the desired behavior. Once they get the concept down, you can add the verbal cue down. Once again, raise the criteria by fading the lure and marking and rewarding separately. Yeah. Further raise the criteria by adding distance. Sit and down go hand in hand, so you can train your puppy to alternate between the two. Once your dog gets really good at the command, you can start making them do puppy push-ups, which is just multiple rounds of sits and downs. You probably see a pattern now. Begin by luring for a desired behavior, add a verbal cue, and for advanced training, add a physical cue while removing the verbal cue. This progression could be applied to any behavior training. Come when called or the recall command. Another important command is come. This command is crucial for keeping your puppy safe and under control in new environments. To teach your puppy to come when called, start by saying their name followed by come. When they come to you, give them a treat and lots of praise. Gradually increase the distance between you and your puppy using a longer leash or calling them from another room to reinforce the command in different situations. As mentioned before, we have a full video on this topic, which I will link below that breaks down the recall into four phases. The stay command. The stay command is useful for keeping your puppy in one spot, whether it's for their safety or for your convenience. To teach your puppy to stay, start with them in a sitting or lying down position. Say stay and hold out your hand in front of them like a stop sign. Take a step back and if they stay in position, give them a treat and praise. Gradually increase the distance and time they will have to stay before giving them a treat. Once again, we have another full video talking about this. It's related to the notion of impulse control. I have also a link in the description below. The heel command. Finally, the heel command is important for leash training and walking your puppy in public areas. This command teaches your puppy to walk by your side without pulling or tugging on the leash. To teach your puppy to heel, start by luring them to your heel position which is directly next to your left ankle. Click and treat when they get into the proper position. Take one step forward and if they maintain position with you, click and immediately reward. Once they understand the position, add the verbal cue heel. Continue to progress by taking additional steps in between until your dog gets accustomed to walking in your heel position. If they pull ahead, position them back in your heel position by luring and reset. With practice, your puppy will learn to associate heel with walking calmly by your side. Once again, we have a full video on loose leash walking, and I will have that link in the description below. 
And that's it. If your puppy can nail these five basic commands, they are well on their way. Remember, training your puppy is an ongoing process, and it takes patience and consistency to see results. Practice these commands every day, and soon your puppy will be a well-behaved and happy companion. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more dog training tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.